history of the Looney Tunes, Chuck Jones would often be associated as one of the masters of comedy thanks to his works of the Wile E. Coyote and Roadrunner cartoons. With an easy plot of a hungry predator with gadgets always being outsmarted by his prey, it opens up to millions of possibilities that would lead to many hilarious cartoons. However, Chuck doesn't always stay with the same two characters with that formula. Just make a tiny little change to it and you can develop a brand new cartoon. Instead of being outsmarted by the prey itself, the predator would have to face a guard that's keeping him away from the prey. Instead of going with Wile E. Coyote and the Roadrunner, we have Ralph Wolf and Sam Sheepdog. Unlike the more well-known duo, where it's just nature that the coyote is chasing the Roadrunner, Ralph and Sam has to do this as part of their job. They punch into work, Ralph tries to steal the sheep, Sam blocks him from the sheep, repeat those two a few times, punch out, and go home. Rinse and repeat. But it's just an ordinary life for Ralph and Sam. The original concept actually began way back in 1942 with the Frizz Freeling cartoon, The Sheepish Wolf. Although the characters and subject are not here, the cartoon is what gave Chuck Jones the inspiration to create his own wolf and sheepdog character. So on January 3rd, 1953, he decided to have his first try with these types of characters in Don't Give Up the Sheep. What's very interesting to note is the way that Ralph almost looks identical to Wile E. Coyote. Same design, same role, often the same use of Acme gadgets, but the only significant difference is the red nose and white eyes. If there would be an issue with some of the first cartoons here, it's that it really had a hard time trying to remember names. Some cases would be that Sam would be called Ralph, and Ralph would be called George. Hello, Ralph. Hello, Fred. Hello, George. Hello, Sam. Oh, please, don't go adding new characters here. You're just going to make things confusing for yourself. I mean, you just called Wally Sam. But going back into the cartoons, the first one became a great hit and would spawn five additional cartoons, including the 1954 Sheep Ahoy, the 1955 Doubler Mutton, the 1957 Steel Wool, the 1960 Ready, Woolen and Able, and the 1962 A Sheep in the Deep. There was an additional cartoon afterwards as Ralph and Sam's final tune with the 1963 Woolen Underwear but they were directed by Phil Monroe and Richard Thompson instead of Jones. After the cartoons, Ralph and Sam would settle down and make a few cameos in several Looney Tunes series and movies, including Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Tasmania, Space Jam, Looney Tunes Back in Action, and Bah Humduck, A Looney Tunes Christmas. It wouldn't be until September 2001 when they would be the stars of their own video game, Sheep, Dog, and Wolf for the PlayStation and PC by Infograms, where the player would have to play as Ralph stealthily stealing sheep from Sam. Surprisingly enough, even though this may not sound like a big seller, it actually received some generally good reviews, where even IGN claimed that it's a lot of fun and one of the better PlayStation titles during that time. But no matter how many sheep that didn't get stolen, or how many punches Ralph has to endure just for the sake of our entertainment, for them, it's all in a day's work. Nice day, huh, Sam? Yep, good to be alive, Ralph. See ya, see ya, see ya, see ya later, dudes!